Hey guys, and welcome back to another Rocket League tips video. Today, I'm going to be going over my top five most important mechanics for all you beginners who want to rank up fast in Rocket League. Now, I wanted to make this video because I've been coaching a bunch of different ranked players over on my Patreon over the past month, and I've started to notice a trend with what mechanics sort of separate the ranks. Now, with that being said, mechanics are only one piece of the puzzle, right? There's this whole other side of Rocket League that has to do with positioning, game sense, and decision making. But for the purposes of this video, we're really going to focus in on that one part of the game and talk about mechanics. Before I reveal my top five list though, I wanted to thank you all so much for the support on the channel recently. At the time I'm recording this, we just hit 40k subs, which is absolutely amazing, especially considering we were only at 10k just a few months back. So if you're currently part of the 95% of viewers watching right now that aren't subscribed to the channel, then please consider subbing if you do like this video. Remember, it's totally free and you can always unsub whenever you want. Anyways, without any further wait, let's talk about my top five mechanics in Rocket League. All right, just to make things clear so that we're all on the same page, when I'm talking about the most important mechanics, what I really mean is the most useful mechanics. The reality is, training anything at all in Rocket League will probably help you improve somewhat. But I think we can all agree that certain mechanics just aren't as useful as others. As much as we'd all love to flip reset our way out of gold, that's probably not the fastest way to get out. Point is guys, the purpose of this video is to help you all figure out what you need to train to improve the fastest. So let's go in descending order and start with my number five pick for the number five most important mechanic to learn for newer players. All right, coming in at the number five spot for mechanics, we have wall play. Now, I was debating whether or not I actually wanted to put this mechanic higher on the list, but I just couldn't get myself to place it above some of mechanics coming up later. Regardless, the reason I think wall play is so important is because it opens up a whole new range of possibilities for you as a player. Without wall play, your options are very limited when the ball goes up on the wall. You either have to wait for it to come down or spend a ton of boost to get up to it. So if you can get comfortable just moving around on the wall a little bit, you're going to have a major edge on your opponents who can't. Especially when you get to the higher levels of play, wall play becomes super important defensively. And just in general, most of the time, if you can hit the ball off the wall, that's probably going to be your best option. All that being said, even though I think wall play is super important at the high levels, I'm keeping it at number five on the list because it's not the most essential mechanic for newer players. Now, if this was a how to go from champ to grand champ video, I'd probably have wall play pretty high on the list. But since this is a beginner list, wall play comes in at the number five spot. All right, onto the number four spot on the list, we have recovery mechanics. Now, I know it's kind of cheating to group all recovery mechanics into one spot on this list, but at the end of the day, I do consider these things generally to be of equal importance. That being said, I would recommend newer players play around with some of the more simple recovery mechanics, like simple air rolling or power sliding and half flips, because these things are important. But at the end of the day, is learning these mechanics going to win or lose you a game? At the high levels, maybe, but at the low ranks, the pace of play isn't all that fast, and the cost of not knowing how to recover super quick isn't all that high. So bottom line, do I recommend learning recovery mechanics? Definitely. But I don't think something like a wave dash is critical if you're a newer player. You should definitely try to learn it at some point, but I don't think recovery mechanics are quite as important as some of the other things coming up on this list. And that's why recovery mechanics, while useful, only get the number four spot for me. Moving on to the third most useful mechanic for newer players to learn, we have aerials. Now, when I refer to aerials, I'm not even necessarily referring to fast aerials, right? You don't have to be able to zoom up to the ball. For the purposes of beginner aerial play, I'm literally just talking about, can you make contact with the ball in the air? If the ball's coming at your net in the air, 
can you hit it reliably? Truth is, as I've been coaching and watching a bunch of different levels of play, I've noticed aerial consistency isn't all that common until closer to the diamond ranks. So if you're a gold or platinum ranked player and you notice you're spending the entire game on the ground and not going up for any of the balls in the air, then you should definitely consider some basic aerial training. Now, I do wanna cut in here and acknowledge that I haven't really been explaining to you all how exactly to train these mechanics. So to save time here, what I'm going to do is link some of my other tutorials that go into detail with exactly how to learn these things. For now, I'll just keep listing things though so you can figure out what's most important for you to train. But back to my point earlier, if you're noticing all of your gameplay is taking place on the ground, just slowly learning how to hit a ball airborne is going to give a massive boost to your overall skill level as a player. All right, moving past aerials, what comes in at the second spot for me in terms of most important mechanics might surprise you, and we're going back to the ground because this one is dribbling. Now, the reason dribbling gets the number two spot for me is just because how underrated and underutilized this mechanic is at the lower ranks. Currently, I'm also in the process of working on a video going over the top 10 beginner mistakes in Rocket League, and one of the most common problems I've been seeing time and time again recently is just people getting rid of the ball when there's no reason to. And this is a problem that's epidemic at the lower ranks. And I think the root cause of this is just people not being confident with their dribbling. Like I said, time and time again, I'll be coaching someone and they might have tons of space, but instead of using the space, they'll just boom the ball away out of panic. So if you want to rise above the gold and plat level style of play of just booming the ball back and forth across the field, you've got to focus on dribbling and flicking whenever you get the chance to. From what I've seen, dribbling isn't commonplace until diamond or even higher. So if you want a quick and easy way to separate yourself from the pack, consider improving your dribbling. All right, enough about dribbling though. Moving on to the final number one most important mechanic for newer players, and believe it or not, it's power shots. Now, I was hesitant to classify something like shooting as a mechanic initially, but after coaching for the past few weeks, I've realized how important shooting really is. There are so many times I watch replays of people with completely open nets at the lower ranks, just booming the ball into the corner or rushing and completely whiffing their shot. The reality is, if you can't reliably hit a rolling ball to a specific spot on the field, you probably just shouldn't be attempting other fancy mechanics. Now, there are tons of ways to improve your shooting accuracy, whether it's with aim training and workshop maps or just shooting training packs, but I can't stress enough the importance of shooting accuracy, especially in real game time. So really try to get comfortable hitting the ball from different angles with power and accuracy, because truth is, if you can hit the ball hard from any location, you will fly through the lower ranks of play. And at the end of the day, that's why I think shooting and just hitting the ball with power is number one on my list, because nothing's more fundamental than just raw shooting power and accuracy. Unlike the other mechanics, there's just no way to avoid learning shooting if you want to rank up, which is why it gets my number one spot. But okay guys, that is going to wrap things up for my top five most important mechanics list. Now I know I kind of rushed through this list because I really wanted to have time to talk about each of these different mechanics, but if you want a more in-depth look at any individual mechanic, definitely check out my other videos because I have tons of specific tutorials that really go in depth on this stuff. And as always guys, these are just my opinions that I'm trying to share to help you all improve. But if you disagree, definitely feel free to comment down below and we can talk about what you think are the most important mechanics. Regardless, I hope this did help you identify what you need to learn to improve the fastest as a player. I promise if you learn these mechanics in the order that I listed, you're gonna find yourself ranking up way quicker than if you had it. Anyways guys, before the video ends, if you're new to the channel and don't know about the monthly giveaway I do, then this is the part of the video where I'll talk more about that. Basically, at the end of every month, I pick a random subscriber to win two months worth of free private coaching for me. Now, normally I only coach my Patreon members, but if you get picked, I'll coach you for four sessions over a span of two months, completely free of charge. 
So if you want to enter for a chance to win that, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and join my Discord linked in the description below because I picked the winner over there. I also run tons of other giveaways in my Discord, and it's an awesome place to find other like-minded people to play with, so definitely check it out if you haven't yet. Anyways though guys, that's all I've got for this one, so thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.